So when you were learning yourself, right, you were maybe doing, going through a YouTube video or a Udemy course. I know that today we have a lot of self-taught engineers and developers and they're doing great. But did you find any challenges in finding a job? Because when I go to LinkedIn today, I see a lot of jobs that say minimum requirements is a college degree or a diploma or, you know, sometimes a master's degree. So did it like, did you feel the challenge or was it straightforward and simple? So I think it's easier for you to find a job if you have a self-taught, just look for the, some small company, small agency or startup. That's the most easiest way to get you started. Of course, like it's difficult. I, I apply for like tons and tons and tons, but then I got no reply because the first thing they need is a bachelor degree in computer science, which yeah. I don't have that. Definitely difficult. But if you are applying for like small agency or startup, you know, they are more people oriented. So they will see you as people, you know what I mean? Like they don't go through everything and they just chuck you, chuck your things and just, you know. So they will actually look at your, your resume pr- pr- properly because you know they don't have a lot and then i think the most important thing is you need to get yourself prepared like you need to work harder than anyone else you need to have more quality just make yourself more qualified than other people that than other graduates Absolutely, from yeah. school yeah. Absolutely. It is. And, and like, this is what Kritika and I always say that you should have maybe, you know, try to have a GitHub profile or a, a yeah. few self made projects yeah. that you have links to that you can show to someone. Now, if someone isn't maybe, you know, machine learning, maybe they, they, they can't create like websites very quickly. Mm-hmm. Like it, it might be more time consuming, but something that you can show to others will definitely always help. Yeah. Yeah. And, Absolutely. And also like, like the, so- um, search like if you are going to apply for a like, backend developer just go and learn just go and get some certifications from like mongodb you know like they have a courses people don't you know understand that you can be you can be a student from college or you can be a self-taught but you have to apply sometimes to a lot of jobs it's very rare that you apply to one job and you get it right like oh. even like we follow traditional path but i had to apply i remember more than 100 companies with the guy if we if we count the internships as well it was <laughs> it was not it's really hard good. honestly yeah the job hunt it, no matter like if you're a university graduate or a so it is hard and also mm-hmm. like now they have the companies have like such sophisticated tools like the ats system the automated you know like mm-hmm. the testing system that mm-hmm. they have so like you have to have no matter how good you are how good your profile is if you don't have these certain keywords in your resume mm-hmm. A machine yeah. is going to reject that, right? Yeah. You're not even, your resume is not even going to go get through to, you know, like a hiring manager or someone yeah. like you won't even get to prove yourself like in an interview because the machine is rejecting you. So like you need to be, I mean, today you need to be like really clever to work out ways to build a smart resume, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I was just thinking like, you know, like we are doing tech, you know, why do we have to have a skills to write resume? What, the, <laughs> what is that even for? Is that important for the market or what? Right? Absolutely. Yeah. But, but it is like, it is <laughs> important. Like Kritika and I learned the hard way that, that you know, we, we had to do it. But yeah, like initially we didn't give it much, much attention, right? And after getting a lot of rejections. And I remember even when I was in India, some of my friends who got the job very quickly, they did not develop as, much, as many skills. The, the guys or the girls who got rejected by 10 companies and they went to interviews, they knew so much more by the end because now they know what the interview is going to ask because they have so much yeah. more experience and yeah. they were learning so many things. So person who found a job, stop learning, stop going to YouTube, stop, mm-hmm. stop going to Udemy, didn't learn anything new. But people who were not hired, it's not that they were unskilled, but they just didn't get hired and they were still learning, still doing things. And by the end of our college degree, they knew so much more and they got better job offers. So m- maybe getting rejected is not the worst thing. It can help you guys. <laughs> in yeah. The like, end. like if you got, you know, it's, it's not about how, how terrible your skills are. Cause you know, they don't, they don't know you. It's not about how terrible you are. If you didn't get a job, it's just about them. It's not, it's not mostly about you, but it's mostly about them. So you just Absolutely. have to learn the skills, how to improve your interview, how to improve your your skills and stuff. At the end of the day, it's true, right? Like, I mean, whatever field you're working in, be it tech, but I mean, it's 
you know, like the image that they portray on mm -hmm. internet and everyone that a coder is someone who wears their hoodie and then they're on their like table coding, mm -hmm. like in a dark room, not interacting mm -hmm. with anyone with music on and stuff like that. it's it, mm -hmm. that is not always true, right? You have to work in a team, you have to develop certain skills, you have to work on your soft skills. Soft skills are like equally important as your technical skills. So yeah, I mean, uh, you have to take care of all those points. Yeah, like you have to communicate with your team every single day, <laughs> right? Exactly, Absolutely. like your team, your managers and like yeah. other non-tech people as well yeah. to build a good rapport with them, to work together, you know, like in yeah. a non-toxic, non-hostile environment. <laughs> Try not to be toxic. <laughs> exactly, to be happy at your job. So yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we don't, as beginners, we don't expect this, right? I mean, for mm -hmm. us, like programming and tech and software engineering is like just, you know, learning to code, learning how to apply logic and stuff. But like with experience, you get to know how important these soft skills and like these other things are as well. Yeah, which they didn't really teach that in school, I think. Exactly. That, that as well, yeah. That as well. So as I mentioned before, I remember when we were chatting, like when you learn something in school, it's totally different. It's a whole other experience of when you come in the outside world and you start to apply it. Yeah. Yeah. Like you have to learn from the outside world instead of in school. It's just being forced to go out and just learn it. Yeah.